Hey there, it's Beth from Rock Your Notebook, and I've got a fun uh, watercolor tutorial in my Watercolor Traveler's Notebook insert. Um, these are offered in the shop in all of the possible sizes that you can get a Traveler's Notebook insert in, and um, these are great for taking around if you just want to be able to watercolor on the go. Um, they're very portable and very sturdy. Uh, the hand stitching means that they are not going to fall apart. You can see I'm working in the middle of my notebook here and I'm using lots of water and lots of color. Uh, these are my two latest Daniel Smith watercolors and I absolutely love them. I have a phalo green and a turquoise. I forget the name of the turquoise but I'll be sure to try and leave a link down below to the two colors but they are absolutely stunning and so, so vibrant. So I'm just creating a design with my watercolors here. Um, and I got this brand new, um, oh my goodness, what do you call it? <laughs> the bowl on the side with the three wells. Um, brush cleaner, I forget what you call it. But I got this on Amazon and it has the three wells. Normally, the two little ones would be for like cool colors on one side and warm colors on the other side to uh, rinse off your brush. And then the main well would be to like clean it from all the colors so you can pick up some clean water. Um, but I was only working with two colors uh, today, so I just used it for, for both of the colors. And uh, I dried everything with my heat gun. This is not necessary to have, but I'm very impatient when I'm crafting, so a heat gun is life for me because it enables me to just keep going. Um, I don't always have a lot of time, so the heat gun allows me to dry whatever I'm working on and then keep going. So I brought all of my stamps to the table with me, and I chose a couple of stamps, and I grabbed the gray archival ink, but I noticed that it just was not quite dark enough. So you're gonna see me stamp here on this tissue paper, and this is the Tim Holtz tissue paper, which is great for this kind of stuff. And um, I'm gonna stamp on it, and then I'm like, ah, that's not quite dark enough. So I went ahead and I grabbed my VersaFine uh, sepia ink, which is also a waterproof ink. So whatever I do to it, once it's dry, it's not going to like smudge around or anything like that. It's gonna be perfect. And I go ahead and I stamp out all of the things in both colors because I'm here and I'm stamping, so I might as well have extra for later projects. Um, I chose the number eight because it is my favorite number. Uh, that's the only reason why I chose the number eight, and I just wanted to incorporate it into this page. And then the sentiment that I stamped out says, the impossible is often untried. Um, and I think that's so true. Uh, you know, sometimes you just have to go for it. And then I have these heart stamps that I'm going to stamp out as well, just because, you know, heart, your soul. <laughs> I don't know. I just like them, and that's what I chose. So I stamp all of these onto this tissue paper. Um, I clean up my little mess here, and I put all of the stamps away which you're gonna see here in a second. I'm working on a silicone mat that I got from scrapbook.com. Um, I don't know, I got tired of the glass mat that I had, Tim Holtz glass mat, so I'm trying out something else. I have a beautiful cutting mat um, underneath the silicone mat, and I have the silicone mat on top because as you can see here, all of my ink kind of like leaked through uh, the tissue paper and I didn't want that to get onto the cutting mat that I had below. Um, everything wasn't quite dry yet so I hit it with the heat gun really quickly and then I'm just ripping out all of the pieces that I'm going to use on my page. So what I ended up doing um, was I took one of each color of everything that I stamped out and then you're going to see here in a minute I'm going to grab some Yes Glue, which I learned through my Wanderlust class, Wanderlust class, and this glue is phenomenal um, for mixed media. It is definitely one of my new favorite glues for things like this. It's a very heavy glue, and I'm not worried that my stuff is going to um, 
fall off the page or come up easily. It's just a really, really awesome glue. And I have these black hearts that I have in my stash because again, I'd create things and I cut things and then I don't throw them out because you never know when they're going to come in handy. And I kind of just have them like all over the desk. So that way I can grab them when needed. And these happen to be right there. So I grabbed two black hearts that I had and I'm going to do some collaging here. So I'm sticking down the cardstock black hearts with the yes glue just because it's a really thick cardstock that these hearts are from. And then I'm going to use the liquid matte medium to adhere all of the tissue paper things uh, down and I put the quotes with the hearts and the eights the number eights with the stamped hearts and then I ended up sealing everything as well with the liquid matte medium just because it's watercolor and I wasn't sure what I was gonna want to do or end up doing after the page was completed and when you seal everything with the matte medium, that means that my watercolor is not going to move anymore. As well as after adhering all of the tissue paper down, um, you know, those areas looked different from the other areas. So I went ahead and sealed the entire page with the matte medium just to ensure that nothing moved because I didn't know what I was going to do and that everything ended up looking cohesive. Um, I'm almost done with this part here and then the only other thing that I end up doing is uh, looking for a quote for my word of the year so if you've been following me you know that my word of the year this year is breathe um, so I went ahead and jumped on the computer really quick and found a quote that uh, you're gonna see come to life here in a second um, I hit all of this with the heat gun because again, it is amazing and awesome. And that is it for this page. So again, uh, watercolor traveler's notebook inserts are available in the shop. Everything is hand stitched uh, for the specific reason so that it doesn't fall apart. You can get as messy as you want. You can fill these notebooks up as much as you want and the pages will not fall out ever. Um, and that is the main reason why I hand stitch every single notebook that leaves my shop. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned some cool techniques to give yourself a try. And uh, I appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching, bye. Yes, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, Shawty. Let's go. I see you over there in the corner of the dance floor, and I know, I know you're acting shy. 